Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. I got up pretty early for an appointment that I'm really excited about. I'm actually getting my um, brows nanobladed today, and I'm gonna do like a whole separate video just because I want to take you guys along through the whole process, and I think they like flake off four to five days after, so I want to be able to get that in the video. Obviously, my brows will be looking a little different from right now, so I wanted to quickly do this little intro. I actually have like a pretty chill week ahead of me, which is great because we have to be out of our apartment by Wednesday. That is like the last day. So I asked Ryan to hire some cleaners for them to come tomorrow. We're gonna probably try to wrap everything up by tonight, go over to the apartment, get everything cleaned up. I have to take off the backsplash. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did stick on backsplash and I'm kind of dreading it because a lot of people were saying that it's gonna leave residue. So I guess we'll find out. I do have to drive to Cedar Park for this appointment. So we gotta get going. That's what we said. pulled up to the salon and I'm gonna head in in a few. I'm just filming some like intros and some TikTok transitions of my brows. I wanna get all the content that I can, especially the pores. And my car is again filled with so many cardboard boxes and like recyclables and all that kind of stuff because we're gonna go to the apartment later today and clean it up and just like drop all this off. I don't know what we're gonna do when we don't have our apartment trash valet. When I was growing up in Roswell, we like took our stuff to the recycling center sometimes. So maybe they have something like that here. They probably do. Here are my top priorities for today. Right after this appointment, I really need to find somewhere to get our curtains hemmed. In my last vlog, we went to Target and got some curtains because it's just like really creepy to have like the windows all open. It's not like houses in Austin are super far apart. So I don't know. I just like need some curtains, especially at least, at least in the bedroom for now, we can like talk about doing it downstairs later on. We couldn't find an in-between length of curtains. So it was either like 84 or 95 and we wanted something like around 92. I've always heard interior designers tell you to like put the curtains way above the actual like window where it ends to make the room seem a lot bigger. So that's the vibes we're trying to go for. And I obviously want them to be touching the floor to make it like look very dreamy. I didn't really see any curtain rods that I liked in Target. So I just um, ordered them on Amazon. I already forgot that I really wanted to go to the domain after this. And I'm gonna see how far it is because I'm up north right now. And the domain is up north. Let's see, I never have service. I have a J. Crew gift card that I want to spend and then I also want to look at anthropology because I got invited to a Kendra Scott holiday dinner tomorrow night, which is super exciting. And I think like the dress code is obviously like holiday party-esque. I want to look chic. I do have a black silk skirt that I could wear, but I don't have like any holiday dresses or do I? I don't think so. So we might pop into anthropology and J. Crew if we have time. Yeah, don't have service, so I don't even know how far it is. So we'll see on the way back. Are you kidding? This is like the most aesthetic studio I've ever seen. So cute. Okay, so I know that we talked over the phone a little bit about like your brow goals and all of that. So on the arches, you see, they're like more a bit up. I think I like the first one better. Okay. Like more natural. Yes. Brows are done and they're gonna be pretty dark for the next couple of days until they scab off and then that's when they kind of lighten up. That's what she said. So I'm excited to see the final result, but up close and personal, like the hair strokes are so crazy to see. Like they look so natural and I know it looks crazy right now, but gotta trust the process. I just got home and Ryan actually went to Home Depot to rent a truck because we have to get the tables and chairs for my hibachi night on Friday. Back to the people who rented them out to us. We have to get them in before four, it's 2.45. So, I mean, we should be able to get it in by then, especially because he's on his way home right now with the truck. Glad we can cross that off our to-do list. I called a couple people about the curtains and how much it would be to hem it. They gave me like estimates between 20 to $30 per panel. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if that's worth it. I remember my mom used to use like double-sided fabric tape when I was younger to hem pants and all that stuff. And I did a quick TikTok search and you could do that on curtains too. So I think we might try that first just cause that seems to be a little bit more cost effective. And these are not the only curtains that we want to put in our house. So we'll definitely try them on these. I mean, these were maybe like 30 to 40-ish per panel. And if this fabric tape doesn't work out, then obviously we can go get it professionally done, but I'm hoping it does so we can you know stay a little more under budget but ryan just got here so i have to help him carry the table and chairs
We returned the tables and chairs, so we need a little sweet treat. We're gonna go to Aust Tea. Tonight we're making chicken bowls, no surprise here. I feel like that was just my go-to when I have no idea what to make. Um, so Ryan thawed this chicken out earlier and I'm just gonna do some chicken taco seasoning, some vegetables, rice, all of that good stuff. And I just forgot that today is actually posting day. I, I like edited half the vlog, but I have to edit a couple more clips. So I wanna get this in the instant pot so that I can work while it's cooking. I don't think it takes like too long. But it should take like at least 20 minutes to get the chicken ready. So I'm just going to do all this chicken. I usually get like the, the HEB chicken thighs because it comes in such a big pack and it's like not too expensive. So that way we'll have it for multiple meals because leftovers are honestly so good. <laughs> because you don't have to cook anything. You don't have to prep anything. You just freaking heat it up and you made it. It's like homemade still. Today went by so fast because I feel like I spent all day at... Um, Maria studio tomorrow. I have that event that I told you guys about unfortunately I did not have too much time to go to the domain So we're just gonna probably try to find something in my closet I mean like I said I have that silk skirt that I can probably pair with like just a sweater, but I don't know I kind of wanted to go all out for Kendra Scott, but it's okay Maybe maybe we'll have time tomorrow to like run to the mall really quick actually that could be a possibility I cannot wait for all of my furniture to get here um, the bed frame that we ordered should get here like this month, but they need to call me and schedule a pickup time. I called them to like ask for an update and they said if you don't get a call by the 15th of December, then you should call us back and like get it scheduled. So I'm just like patiently waiting for them to call me to get it delivered because they said the 15th through the 29th and I'm waiting on my desk and I'm waiting on the breakfast nook which reminds me I need to get breakfast nook chairs so I kind of want to splurge a little bit more on those really lucked out with the dining chairs I found they were like two for 170 or something like that so that was nice because I had to buy six of those but for the breakfast nook I'll probably only buy four chairs which is still a lot but I feel like I want those to be a little bit more comfortable and just like look a lot nicer since it's like right in the kitchen and the dining room is like its own separate room so I want it just to look nice and I know I'll probably use the breakfast nook table a lot more than the dining table. That being said I want to find like really nice chairs you know so I have been stalking Facebook marketplace like a crazy woman for like anything and everything because I just feel like there's just so much empty space in this house. Like we could use some console tables, you know, in a couple places and just more storage, honestly. And I also really want um, a makeup vanity, but I feel like all of the ones that I'm seeing nowadays just remind me of what I had in high school, which is like, it's fine, but I, I feel like it's like kiddish, you know? So I want like a more, I don't know, updated and more grown up looking vanity. But I have yet to find that. So happy that you guys are loving the vlogs lately. And it makes me so happy when you guys take the time to like comment on the vlogs, even though I don't reply like immediately. And I'm sorry about that, but I try to reply when I post like the next video. But it really just means a lot because I feel like I see the views and like that's amazing that I even get any views on these videos because it's just like my life and it's so random. It's almost like putting a name to the face and it's cool to know that actual people are there watching my videos. Like in my mind, it's just like random like robot. I don't even know how to explain it, but I just wanted to take the time to thank you guys for that. And now we're gonna season it with the chicken taco seasoning. I usually like McCormick's, I think that's the brand, but I think I only have one packet and with all this chicken, we're gonna need two. So we'll use the Trader Joe's one. If I thought about this ahead of time, which I did, technically. I would have marinated it for like maybe even overnight. I remember one time I put a little bit of sour cream and the mixture just like in a gallon Ziploc and it tasted so good and it was so moist, but 
Anyways, we don't have time for that, so we'll just do the seasoning. This is the one I prefer. This is the one we will be using today. Bone apple teeth. <laughs> back at the apartment and I changed into a big t-shirt because I feel like we have a lot of work to do. We still have some random things in the apartment and I have to take off this stick on backsplash I put all over the kitchen a year ago. And so we're gonna see if it like left residue, how it held up. I did put blue tape underneath it, hoping that the cleanup would be a little bit less. It was this marble subway tile that I got on Amazon. I can link it down below. I think it held up pretty good, except for where my air fryer was. It was really bad back here, but honestly I was fine with it because my air fryer was, you know, covering it this whole time. But, let's go ahead and remove it. Oh God, you can see it's sticking right there. Ooh, this is gonna be fun with press-ons. I feel like they're gonna come off. Oh God. Oh, I swear if they come off in singles the whole way, I'm going to literally be so mad. Oh, fuck. I forgot we have to unscrew these and I didn't bring my fucking screw. Gosh dang, one of my presents just ripped off. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought. It's really satisfying when you get like a big group of them though and not just the single ones. Here's what it looks like right now. I can already tell that the blue tape made such a big difference and it really just peels off so easily. It's the next day and I'm rushing to go somewhere. I literally gave myself so much time to get ready so I'm kind of mad that I feel rushed because that was like the whole point of like starting to get ready so early is to not feel rushed but I of course have to put on press-ons because that is a priority. We are going to a Kendra Scott event. It's going to be like a holiday party so that's why I got this dress. I actually literally got it at Forever 21 today. That's why I'm just starting to vlog now because I've been kind of in panic mode of like what do I wear? So this is what we decided on and I'll show you guys a better clip when I stand up after I'm doing my nails. Um, but these are the ones we're gonna do today. They're from Glamnetic. They sent me over a ton of nails and they're like sparkly red tips. And I thought that would be perfect for the holiday spirit. So let's hope I can get this done ASAP. Luckily I do press-ons like kind of often so it shouldn't be too hard, but I feel like finding your sizes for the nails is like the hardest part. And like filing them down, they look so good. Wow. I don't know if I've ever actually done glamnetic nails before. I do all of in June. Oh shoot, Kiss products. I'm trying to think what else. Today I was wearing a hat because I didn't want to show my brows because I thought they were just too dark, especially because I wasn't wearing any makeup this morning. And the hat made my hair greasy, so that is why we put it up. But honestly, it's cute. I feel like it's fun to like do something different than you normally do with your hair because I feel like I always wear it straight or curly, but I rarely ever put it up. And I love a slick back bun, but I feel like my hair just gets so itchy so quick, so I can't really get to that, you know? I mean, I guess I could do it like on second day, but like, why would you waste, you know, your already washed hair? Tonight's event is at Jeffrey's and I have been dying to actually go to this restaurant and try it. It's like a steakhouse restaurant and everyone says it's so good. It is a dinner party, but I don't know if they're gonna do like shareables or if that's even a thing at this restaurant. 
I'm making the executive decision that I do not have time. It is already 6.08 and I think the place is like 20 minutes away. Traffic, you know, it's probably gonna be longer and I don't wanna be super late because again, it is a dinner party and like we're sitting down. Why did I take on my press ons today? I literally thought I was gonna have time for this. I'm so mad, but it's okay. I'll just like file my nails down because right now they're not looking so cute. I have time. They're sitting right here, ready for me to do. Okay, here's the outfit of the night. Like I said, my dress is forever 21. And honestly, compared to all the other things I found today at Zara, Aritzia, like Anthropology, like this material is actually really nice. Like it's not bad quality at all. And it has a cutie little bow, it's so festive. And I decided that I really need some new black heels because these are like the basics. These are the Knowles heels from Dolce Vita, but I feel like I need a little something, something more, you know? I'm actually getting there five minutes early and I think they have ballet, so it's not like I can just wait in my car because I usually like to be like 10, 15, well, it depends on like what it is, but I definitely like, if it's just an event and on dinner, I definitely like to show up like 15 minutes late. I don't want to be the first person, but if it's ballet, I might be. Um, and I'm also getting really nervous. Got some butterflies in my stomach and I feel like I haven't felt like this in a while for an influencer type event but I didn't get a plus one. Well, I didn't really ask for one for this one. And um, I don't know who's going because usually if I don't have a plus one, I know who's going, but this could like be really big bloggers or like people I know. Hopefully it's people I know and big bloggers because it would be fun to like meet them. I was also just thinking like I'm hungry. I haven't eaten dinner. But whenever there's food at these kind of events, I actually don't really eat as much as I think I am because I am like talking to my friends or I'm just like mingling, you know? So I went through the wrong entrance. We're upstairs. <sighs> Guys, I'm nervous. Are you doing vlogmas? Okay, trying to post so as much as I can, but I'm not doing like daily. Well, technically, I'm vlogging daily. Yes. Okay, yeah. I don't know if they need Wait, what is wrong. this? Do you know? Yeah. Deviled eggs and yeah. like, like, why does it look like a lobster or something? Oh my god. This is how you know I've been eating good. There's no lip color on my lips. It literally drives me insane, but it's okay. You guys are my friends. You guys won't judge me, right? I wanted to do a little unboxing of what we got in the gift bag. Okay, wait, I feel like I should take a picture of that before I unbox it. This is on display in the bathroom at Jeffrey's. Ryan's like over here laughing at his phone. If you guys have spouses, boyfriends or anything, does that just piss you off when you hear your boyfriend laughing at his phone? I know. <laughs> I know you're gonna you're gonna send it to me, right? I wanna laugh too, that's all. Yeah, honestly, half of his DMs, I'm like, you're such a boy. <laughs> What he thinks is funny is like very different than what I think is. Okay. Dun dun dun. Why did I spray that like all over my hand? Wow. This smells like a, like literally a rich Austin lady. Like a Westlake mom. I don't know how else to describe it. Maybe like a little musky. Definitely like, like a rose. You know what guys? I, I'm just not the best at <laughs> explaining this, but. Also, the bottle is really pretty. I think the top looks like their iconic jersey necklace. I think that's what it's called. I used to have one of those. I have no idea where it is now. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna... Oh. Oh. Okay. That's so nice. Look at that. Just slides right off. And there's like an elastic. So I can put it back on if I want to. Ooh. Dinner was so good. I will be dreaming about those mashed potatoes that we had. And like even the dessert was really, really good. First up, we have this little heart pendant. And then on the front, it has like jewels in it and then we have these pink earrings little hoops i feel like i have not been outroing my vlogs so need to be better at that but i hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs again your comments mean so much to me should i start doing like a comment of the day so you guys like have something to comment i don't know ryan what should i ask them for their comment of the day if you guys made it this far Ryan's question for you guys is what's your favorite Christmas movie? And that is a perfect question because I really want to start watching Christmas movies. I have been wanting to watch Candy Cane Lane, I think with Eddie Murphy. I wanted to watch that yesterday, but we were at the apartment for so long. 
What? I just finished it. Oh, you finished it without me? You didn't even know about it. <laughs> we'll probably watch that maybe this weekend, but comment down below your favorite Christmas movie because I'll start making a list and start watching them all. Also, before we go, I forgot to show you guys my eyebrows. This is what they look like the day after I got them nanobladed. I literally cannot get over that these hair strokes are like not my eyebrows, but I did not fill any of them in. So that is actually insane that I did not have to do my eyebrows. And this is exactly what I wanted, but I know that they will lighten a little bit. I think one started scabbing a tiny bit. So gonna keep you guys updated on the vlogs. Also gonna create like a whole video just for the nanoblading process. So get excited for that. I'm gonna stop rambling, take off my makeup, get in my comfies and go to sleep. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.